Good morning. Good morning. Happy Thursday and welcome to Inspired Thoughts. My name is Kimberly and um, I'm inspired to talk about striking the balance in life today. And it really stemmed from the fact that last week on Inspired Thoughts, we talked a bit about focus, how important focus is, where you... <clears throat> where your attention goes, your energy flows. So what we choose to focus on in life is so incredibly important. I won't go any further than that because we talked about that last week, but it did kind of um, spark some conversation. I had some really interesting um, correspondence with, with some and, uh, and some live conversations as well. And uh, so it really inspired me to talk about balance because um, and I even spoke about it in my yoga classes I taught this week because the idea of of focus and, and sending your energy in a certain direction can often mistakenly feel like it's about action. It's about, you know, constantly striving in a particular direction based on whatever your, your dreams and desires may be. And it's actually really important that balance is a part of the conversation. So that's why I wanted to bring it into the conversation onto the forefront today. Because in life there are these <clears throat> kind of opposing energies. I don't I don't want to say opposing. That's kind of a strong word because they're not it's not like they're dueling. Um, but there are these energies that coexist these coexisting energies in the world. And, um, and a lot of different wisdom traditions reference them in different ways. Some consider it the masculine and feminine en energy. Um, some consider it the, um, the effort and ease, the, the action and the rest. Um, lots of different ways it can be positioned. But if you think about it, these, these energies are part of our world and they're part of our lives. They're part of who we are. And um, simply put, the the action energy the the take action go get it done um, do what you need to do that is a really important um, energy to have in our world and uh, oh my goodness Heidi it is 16 degrees in Maryland I I love Maryland but I don't miss winter in Maryland <laughs> at all I hope you're staying warm hopefully inside um, but this action energy, it's, you know, it's really important. I mean, it's half of all that is right in this world, the actually, the, the taking action to get things done. But there is this other energy that in our go, go, crazy, busy world where there are not enough hours in the day to get it all done, um, this other energy that is equally as important, and that is the, the energy of, of rest, recovery, um, rejuvenation, the, the energy that allows us to reconnect with who we are on the inside instead of putting all of our energy out into the world which is wonderful and a great gift that we give this is about calling the energy back in um, finding opportunities for for we've talked about flow we can talk about that again in the future um, finding flow in our lives where we're just kind of in the moment <clears throat> finding times even if it's five minutes a day where we have quiet time whether it's prayer or meditation the opportunity to quiet our thoughts a bit because when we when we make sure that we incorporate that energy into our life the the opportunity for stillness and silence and flow that's when not only do we recover we have the ability to nurture ourselves and tune back into who we really are <clears throat> but that's when we will receive the next idea the next impulse, the next inspiration that will feel a desire to take action on. And so these, these energies balance each other out. And it's really, really important that we recognize and we honor that because we live in a time and in a world, certainly in a culture, I believe, um, here in the West where, um, we've kind of built our value on a false premise. And that false premise is the more you do, the more you're worth. The, the more you achieve, the more you're worth. And so it puts us in this mindset of, <clears throat> of constantly needing to put our energy out in the world, constantly needing to 
to do, to take action, to achieve, to earn our stripes so that we can feel worthy. And it's so unnecessary. The fact of the matter is you are here. You are worthy. You are born worthy. It's not something that you have to earn um, at all. It's something that is your birthright from God. You are worthy. And so how to get the most out of this life experience is to be able to strike the balance between the taking action, getting it done, and the time for yourself where you can recoup and regenerate and receive the next idea. And in fact, what I found is <clears throat> as I've made it a practice to incorporate just a, a presence practice for myself, for me, you know, it's, it's in the morning, it's in the evening. Um, those who are close to me will tell you if I need it in the middle of the day, I'll go take 10 minutes then too. It's, it's meditation. It's that quiet time to be able to, to try to the best of my ability to just kind of bring my focus to um, like yesterday, I took 10 minutes in, in the late afternoon before I went to teach yoga. Um, and I have an app on my phone that just has the sound of a fan. And so for 10 minutes, I just focused on the sound of the fan because if you can bring your focus to something, whether, you know, the sound of your breath, the sound of the, the wind blowing, ocean waves, a fan, um, or some do a visual like a candlelight. If you can bring your focus to something that doesn't um, spark a bunch of emotion and thoughts, you know, I, when, I'm, when I'm focusing on that fan, I'm not sitting there thinking, hmm, wonder what kind of fan that is. You know, I've heard better fans. I remember a time I had a fan and I didn't like it very much. Like it doesn't strike up those thoughts. It's just this kind of this white noise, which is why I think white noise has been so popular in, in allowing us to um, find rest. And we use it for babies quite a bit to help them get to sleep. It's just an opportunity to quiet your mind. And in that, we're able to kind of tune back in. And what I found is that as I've made a conscious um, decision to implement that presence practice in my life on a daily basis. When I do take action, when I do, you know, put forth the effort, it is inspired. It is coming from a place of f lining up with who I am first. And that's one of the, one of the things I found really interesting when it comes to law of attraction. A lot of people have heard of law of attraction, um, many from the movie, The Secret, and they, they think, oh, if I think about something, then it will just appear, it will manifest. And that's, that's not actually um, how it works at all. It is, and, and, and it often, often people think it means you don't have to take action, um, that you just tune into it and it will be. And there is no um, law of attraction teacher with the, the wisdom of what it really is that would tell you that. Um, action is necessary and action is a beautiful thing. Just line up first. Connect with who you really are first. You know, I knew I'd, I had um, I had a bunch of calls yesterday afternoon. I was sitting kind of sedentary and I knew I, I was going to teach yoga and that's an action I get to take in my life a few days a week and I love it. But I knew um, my mind and my heart kind of needed to hit, hit the reset button. And that's why I went and I just took 10, 15 minutes alone, quiet in my room before I left the house to go teach so that I could tune back in, so that I could line up with me um, so that when I go in to take that action to teach my class, I'm doing it from an inspired place. And I think that that applies across the board in our lives. You know, whatever you're, you're going to go do, whatever... Um, whatever action you're going to take, whatever meeting you're going to step into, whatever class you're going to teach, whatever patient you're going to see, client you're going to work with, um, whatever it is you do, before you go to do that thing, take a couple of minutes for yourself and ensure that you are tuned in to who you are. And that's how you can kind of, on a, on a regular basis, in a more fluid way, bring in both energies, the energy of the the masculine, the, the take action, you know, get her done. <laughs> um, and then the, the action of the, the nurturing, the turning and calling the energy back in so that you can stay tuned into who you are and what matters to you. So that when you do take that action, it's from that inspired place. And then what I've learned is when you take action from that inspired place, it doesn't deplete you. 
in a way that just taking action for the sake of action does, which often people refer to as hard work. You got to do the work. You got to, you know, struggle. I found that nothing could be further from the truth. Um, if you are taking action from an inspired place, from your heart, from your soul, um, from that God voice within you, then it doesn't deplete you. It actually will fuel you. And so that's my encouragement for you today is to create the balance. And you'll notice I chose my words um, using create because a lot of people that I've coached over the years have said, well, I'm trying to find balance, I'm trying to find the balance. I'm on, search, on the search for, for balance in my life. And I've learned that balance is not something that you find, you know, just like happiness. You don't, you don't go on the search for it as much as we've been taught to and, and conditioned to in our lives through our culture and media and such. You got to go find it. Um, an inalienable right. So you have the, the right to um, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, right? So often I, I come across people and I, um, those that I've coached over the years are in that pursuit. They're in the pursuit of balance in their lives. And I always bring them back around to say, you know, just like happiness, this isn't something you go find. This is something you create. You need to create balance for yourself. So however you choose to look at the energies, you know, I know sometimes um, women I've coached don't want to think about the fact that there's masculine energy in their world and, and vice versa. Um, Kelly says, pray, breathe, reset, focus, fuel. Yes. Yes. I could have just said those words, Kelly, and we would have been <laughs> all set for today. Those, those are perfect words. So thank you for sharing that. Um, Aloha, Clyde. Um, but however you choose to refer to the energies, the fact of the matter is whether you're a man, woman, male, female, however you see yourself, we all have both these energies running through us and, and within our life experience. And so striking the balance with intention, intentionally um, making the conscious choice that means to make sure that you're incorporating both. The I'm going to line up, I'm going to make sure I have that time for myself to to turn inward, to call the energy back, call the energy back into this moment, call the energy back into myself so I can tune into who I am and then take action from there. Because what usually happens when you have that time to bring, bring yourself to a more still, quiet place, that, that still small voice, right? That's when, you, that's when you get the impulses. That's when you get the next great idea to then be able to go take action on. And again, if you take action from that place, it is inspired action that will fuel you. So um, using, using Kelly's word, um, hit the reset button throughout your day if need be. Um, I've talked about that before as its own, own conversation, the opportunities we have first thing in the morning, anytime throughout the day as we go to bed at night. You know, we can always take a few minutes to hit the reset button. And I promise you, you may think you're too busy to do it. But I promise you, if you take just a couple of minutes to hit the reset button when you are feeling the awareness that it's necessary or that it would benefit you, I promise you it will do just that. It will benefit you in such huge ways. It will give you the opportunity to have more bandwidth when you do go to take action. And then when you take that action, you'll feel fueled instead of uh, depleted. So. So that's my invitation for you today, and I would love for you to share your comments and any of the things that you do. Share with others that might check this video out that are on live or might see it later. Um, what do you do? What do you do to make sure that you are creating the balance in your life between the, the, the effort, the, the take action, the get it done, and then the, the ease, the rest, the recovery, the tuning back in to who you are? Because the whole idea of focusing that we talked about last week, you know, where your attention goes, your energy flows. It is not meant to be only focusing on getting stuff done. That focus sometimes does need to go out into the world, but that focus sometimes needs to turn inward toward the beauty and the power that is you from the inside out. And I've, I've learned that that is a huge key to living a more inspired life, which is, as many of you know, what I am all about. And uh, so that's the invitation, is to make sure that you are striking the balance. You are creating the balance. You're not, you're not trying to find it. You're not pursuing it. You know, it, 
you, you can't find it in a book. You can't find it in a workshop or a podcast, as wonderful as those are. And I take, take part in learning from all of those things. And I'm very grateful for the great um, guides that I've had along the way. But at the end of the day, this isn't about finding some kind of secret sauce outside of yourself. This is about creating the balance that you organically need in your life. And no one can create it for you but you. No one but you can make it happen because no one knows the balance you need to strike on a given day. And it starts with just a willingness to be aware, to be aware of when you need to hit that reset button, to be aware of, you know, what's the, what's the pattern um, that works for me? What is the, the process that works for me? Like I said, for me, it's before my, before my feet hit the ground in the morning, as Marianne Williamson would say, before um, the modernity of the world hits you, <laughs> you know, before the emails and the text messages, before my feet hit the ground, I meditate and pray first thing. And then my feet hit the ground and I pretty much hope to make it through breakfast before getting stressed out is what it boils down to. Um, and I usually do nowadays, which is a wonderful thing. I didn't at first. That's why this is a practice. It's a presence practice. And I encourage you to take the invitation to make sure that you're finding the, the process, the routine that works for you, and then allowing yourself to be willing to be aware of when you need those additional moments throughout the day, throughout the week, to call the energy back, to hit your own reset button and find ways to do that. Listening to your breath, listening to music, guided meditation, going for a walk, which is what I'm going to do today. Um, so many different things we can do to just kind of, so that is, is my encouragement for you. And Craig, oh my goodness, how are you? Thank you. I appreciate that. Craig said, great message, great timing, resonates beautifully. Thank you. Mwah! Sending much love to you and your beautiful wife, Craig. Thank you for the note. Um, but that's it. I want to send you all off to the rest of your gorgeous day. And uh, with the reminder and the invitation that taking action is great. Um, but it can't be 100% of your focus. Send your energy out into the world. Yes, thank you for that. We need it. It is half of all that is right in this world. But make sure that you're taking the time regularly as part of your consistent routine of honoring yourself, of choosing to live a more inspired life, that you are regularly also calling the energy back into yourself and uh, tuning into who you are because we need that too. That's probably what we need more than anything, is for you to be lined up with who you are. That is the greatest gift you will ever give to yourself and the greatest gift you will ever give to the world around you. So with that, I am sending you tons and tons of love on this Thursday. We've got some rain headed our way, so I'm gonna, as it's picking up wind, I'm noticing, I think it might be coming soon. So I'm gonna make my way back inside and uh, hope you all have an amazing rest of your day, weekend, this, this beautiful, time we've been gifted. Uh, make the most of it and enjoy it. And until our paths cross again, much love.